some of the books that we read are going to be Windows and... Go back and watch that video by Mrs. Frazzled if you have not. She does a great job at modeling how to explain the concept of mirrors, windows, and sliding glass doors to kids. But I want to show you a quote from its creator, Dr. Bishop, and a worksheet you can use in class. If you search Windows, Mirrors, and Sliding Glass Doors, Dr. Bishop, you should be able to find this link, Facing History and Ourselves. In it, you will find this wonderful worksheet. As you can see, sometimes books are windows when they offer you insight into someone else's experience or world. Sometimes they serve as mirrors reflecting one or more aspects of your identity or experience. And sometimes they're sliding glass doors allowing you to enter and engage with another world for a moment in time. Use this to help students think critically about the books you read in class so we can help them see their own lives and experiences as part of the larger human experience. I'm Jared, a PhD student at Penn State Black and here to educate.